Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna to head to Bradford. I hear there's a lovely tea room and patisserie called Pearls. I'm gonna waste no time in this intro, guys. I am super hungry, so I'm actually gonna make my way there now. I'm gonna show you around, we're gonna look through the menu, we're gonna do all that fun stuff together. We're gonna to start the review. I'm hungry, so let's get cracking. I'm just using my phone now, so sorry if it's a little bit like cuddle because of the wind, but yeah, really good amount of parking. You can see Pearls just in front of me. We're gonna go inside, I hear it's a uh, uh, really pretty, really nice, and uh, we'll have a look at that menu together as well. Let's go inside, pull, push, pull, push, ah oh, yes, push, I always get this wrong. It's also on camera as well. So we are inside, it's really, really fancy inside. It looks really good, there's a piano going on over there. There's like nice fancy salt and pepper things. <laughs> oh, the decor is actually beautiful. I feel a little bit underdressed. I always wear like gym stuff because I'm traveling, I've got a ton of reviews to do, I'm walking around all day. I'm just justifying my scruffiness, but uh, beautiful in here, guys. I think what we'll do is start by looking at the menu together so I know exactly what I'm gonna get. Menu-wise, let me just talk you guys through it very quickly because I wanna just highlight, oh, hello. Some information there about allergens and, and whatnot. Um, but what I wanna do, guys, I wanna get a few different things. So for example, we're definitely going to get the, um, where am I looking? Here we go. We're definitely going to get the full English. We're going to try, in regards to the specialties, we're definitely going to try some French toast. I think they're really uh, known for that. In regards to the eggs bennies, or uh, eggs benedict being um, bacon, Royale always has salmon, and Florentine has spinach. I'm probably going to skip those today, but they look good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do instead is probably go for... So we've got a couple of dishes there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go for the fish and chips. That's supposed to be really, really good. And I might chuck in a Parmesan first one in Bradford, why not? So yeah, that's pretty much what I think I'm gonna get. I might slide in a couple of extra things, but you'll have to stay around for that because I haven't actually planned this review. I just, I've looked at the menu for pretty much the first time with you guys. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna get. Should be coming out any second. I'm gonna, like I said, get some sweet stuff, but I definitely wanna try the hot food. I wanna make sure this is a comprehensive review. So if you come in here and you fancy hot food and then dessert, you know exactly what to get. On a side note, it's so busy and it's actually packed. There's a lot of people in here. I'm quite lucky to get a table in the corner. But anyway, I have ordered my food, just starting with a refreshing drink because I've had such a long morning today. This is the Tropical Twister. It has apple, pear, and strawberries in it. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. There's a music, there's piano playing. I think this is a piano cover of Numb by Linkin Park, which is one of my favorite songs. So, Hey man, for the music for sure. The pianist has arrived, he comes from 12 till two every day and it creates such a lovely atmosphere and ambiance. I am so excited for my food because this is a lovely, lovely atmosphere. Okay, the hot food has come out and it looks as beautiful as that music sounds, guys. Wow, there's so much going on. So I'll start by showing you the uh, full English breakfast. Good size, that looks good. Then we've got a hot shot parmesan. This will be the first parmesan I actually have in Bradford. Famous for them, but I've just, I've not had them here. Then we've got some French toast, strawberries and Nutella, I believe, which is my favorite combination. And then fish and chips, why not, why not? I don't know what to go for first. There's so much in front of me. It looks so pretty. We've got like, I feel like we've got mains and desserts, the sweet stuff, we've got the savory stuff. I'm hoping there's a little bit of spice in that Parmesan. Ah, I don't know what to go for first. I think I'm gonna try. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna try the Parmesan first rather than the breakfast, because this is the first one I've had in Bradford. And I'm really excited, so I'm gonna try that first. There's so much flavor going on. There's a little bit of pepper in there. The sauce is lovely. Really cheesy, really cheesy. Good amount, actually, of chicken. I was gonna show it to you guys, but I put my fork into some chocolates, so I'll get another one. So much going on there. It's actually very, very rich, which I love. A good amount of spice. The chicken 
I've had a couple of parmesans in the past, not in Bradford, that I've had like flat chicken, whereas this is quite chunky. It's quite uh, succulent, quite tender. It's a good amount of juiciness to it, which is a little bit harder to have on a breast. Normally I would say thigh meat, leg meat's much juicier, but this, super juicy and really, really, really good. This is a great parmesan. I can't believe it's taken me like 15 videos in Bradford to try parmesan. I feel like I have to go for the breakfast first. That's so popular. I see everyone have it, so I'm gonna go for this next. What I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna tuck into one of the meat sausages. Visually, they look like chicken sausages. Do you know what? Let's get some baked bean action going. They're just straight up getting a hay. Man, I actually, as I was gonna eat that, I was gonna say, I don't like sausages or meat sausages. I like veggie sausages. I don't know, I've just never liked meat sausages, but these are incredibly soft. They are like really soft. They've got a beautiful, almost herby flavor to them as well as a meaty flavor. They're not too oily. Sausages often have a very, very, very crispy skin. I like that it's actually very soft, very easy to eat. That, guys, is probably the best meat sausage I think I've ever had. That's delicious. Next, let's go for, let's go for the scrambled egg. And I feel like that's probably a three scrambled egg. That's quite a large portion. But, you know, let's get a good amount. Do the bean dip again. Velvety, soft. I don't like people scramble eggs and they leave them in the pan for too long and they get a little bit crispy from the bottom. This is like soft all the way through. I don't know, I've not been to many breakfast places or uh, westernized breakfast places in Bradford, but this has got to be one of the best, surely. Beautiful atmosphere, amazing to sit inside, got a, a live pea in this, great food, which is like the main thing. This has got to be up there, surely, guys. If there's anywhere else you want me to try, let me know. We've got lots more food to go, but I'm just kind of blown away by this. So the breakfast does come with a slice of toast or a couple of these, so one like cut in half. You've got a couple of hash browns. There's some turkey bacon there, tomato. <laughs> I do not like tomatoes. Some uh, mushrooms in there as well. These are the staples of a full English, really. What I'm gonna do is have some fun. I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast, guys, and then I'm gonna move on, maybe to the French toast, maybe to the fish and chips. What are we going for next, guys? We've got French toast, and then we've got a massive portion of fish and chips. Ah, uh, do you know what? Let's do the French toast and, no, let's do the fish and chips and then the French toast, so savory and sweet. Yes, let's do that. If you look here, guys, there's so much good food. So we've got a uh, lemon wedge, you can obviously, they've not made that easy to squeeze. We've got a really large piece of fish, which I'm actually gonna put up to the camera so you guys can get a good uh, visual of how big it is. Good portion of chips there. We've got some mushy peas, which I feel like are on a quiet taste. Love or hate, I love, I love, 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 love mushy peas. And then I imagine this is, yes, this is tartar sauce and a couple of slices of bread. Cut straight into this fish. It's a good size. The batter is nice and crispy, which I like. Let's see if the fish is flaky. If you can see the steam off that, guys, it's super hot, really, really fresh, which is a good thing. That's good. I think I should use a knife and fork. It's quite posh in here, but I'm just gonna go with the hands. Can't go wrong with that. Really tasty, flaky, fresh piece of fish. There's some really nice chips there as well. Cannot go wrong with that at all. I think this is one of the more popular menu items. So if you come in here, that's something to get for sure. Really good. We're gonna move on now to the French toast. Do we have any fans of French toast here? I feel like this is the first French toast I've done on the channel. I don't know, I could be wrong. If anyone knows, let me know. But yeah, I, I love French toast. So strawberries and Nutella, classic combination, simple, delicious. You've got the indulgence, the decadence from the Nutella, from the French toast. You've got the acidity from the strawberries, a little bit of cream on the side. Perfect. I'm dropping it, guys. Can you hear it coming? Whee! Hey, man. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, man. I'm probably not gonna finish all this food. I think I'm gonna take it home. But this, oh, man. If I had the belly room, because I've got so much to do today, this would get demolished. 
And that guy's one of the better French toasts I have ever had, and I, I love a good French toast. If you're traveling or if you're in Bradford, definitely get the French toast, definitely get the hot shot, and definitely get the breakfast. What I might do, guys, I might try and sneak in a couple more items to this review. So do stick around, but so far, I am so impressed with this place. This is a really great place to just sit down, chill with your friends, or like your partner, have a really nice meal, coffee, cake, hot food as well. Guys, take your missus, she'll like it. Being a patisserie, they obviously do uh, lots of pastries, cakes, things of that nature, but they do some macarons. I don't really fancy cakes today, but I do fancy something a little bit more about a, a lot of food. So what you can do is get these, which feel like they would be a great thing to give to like friends, right? So if you get six, 12 macarons in that, and then you've got six macarons in that, I think that is a lovely little gift that you could either, you could obviously eat them inside, but I think as a gift to give to people, these are just lovely. Like this is so nice. I am lo I, I love that. I think that is awesome. I know a lot of you know, but I always get the question. Everything here is halal. There's uh, also no alcohol served here. A lot of pastries often have, like Red Velvet has some level of alcohol, tiramisu, all that kind of stuff has some alcohol in it here. All vegetarian and no alcohol. But these guys are absolutely lovely. I think it's absolutely lovely. And I think it's a great place to take friends, family, like a partner for an occasion. I was expecting like French toast, I was expecting the macarons and they've got other stuff I just didn't fancy him today. I didn't expect the amazing hot food. So yeah, really, really happy with that place. Definitely one of the best places I've been to in Bradford, so would definitely recommend. It's just a bit posh, it's nice to have that ambiance sometimes. Ambiance or ambiance? I'm gonna go with ambiance, right? You can't eat ambiance, but it's nice to have it as a bonus when the food is good. If the food is good, everything else is just like an addition. Service was great in there. I loved the live pianist who's there from 12 till two every day. That was great. Also, they did Numb, uh, as in the Linkin Park song Numb, like piano version. It's like, they just know me, that, that's, that's awesome. So um, yeah, really happy with that place. Super posh. If you're in Bradford or traveling, I would definitely recommend it, but do not do what I did and go in like gym gear. Don't, don't do that. Cause it's nice in there. It's, <laughs> it's really nice. But uh, yeah, so closing thoughts. What are my closing thoughts, guys? A little bit scattered, cause I love that. And I have so many thoughts going through my head that when I turn the camera off, I'm like, I should have said something else. Um, but yeah, overall, highly, highly recommend. Guys, if you want to see some more content, there's another video on the screen somewhere. If you click on that, that'll take you to my next video. Do check that out. Do subscribe, do like, do share, do all that fun stuff. But I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.